is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Well a big, big hello to everyone and welcome to this week's episode. I'm not sure which episode I'm on, it could be 106, I am not sure, <laughs> but it will be in the title. Uh, sorry I've not been around for, well I think I've missed, I've missed a week last week and um, there's just not been time I'm afraid to film. As you know, if you followed me for a while, my mother-in-law's not been very well. She's broken her rib and it'll be three weeks on, actually three weeks on Friday that she actually broke her rib and she's been upstairs in bed all this time. But uh, I gather today and they've had to manage to get her downstairs because they had a, another banister rail put up so she has actually got downstairs today which is really really good and then they've popped her back upstairs before they had to leave so I think that will have boosted it a little bit because she was beginning to get a bit depressed anxiety were kicking in she's not had a very good week really with all of her other little problems that she's got and she's not been eating too well neither so I think this will have this little outing that she's had downstairs will have boosted her a little bit. So oh, we'll see how she is when we go and visit her later on this evening. So I thought, while well, I've got a spare ten minutes, I will pop out here and do a little vlog. Now it might not be a very long vlog because like I say, I haven't really been doing very much. But I've gathered a few bits together, what I have done, and couple of purchases that I've got and I've got myself a nice double chop mocha in my gorgeous little cupcake mug which I got from uh, Birmingham NEC at one of the November craft shows I went to quite a few years ago and it's still going strong because it only comes out on well I'd say special occasions but <laughs> it just comes out occasionally because I just like it that much I love the shape of it and I don't want to lose it <laughs> Right, well, you might notice here behind me I have got a dress. Now, looking on camera, it looks black. Now, I know I showed you the other week my um, subscription box from Beyond the Pink Door, and it is very, very similar to this fabric, and it's black. Well, that's not it. <laughs> this is some that I've got in the shop. It's a very, very fine needle cord. And the background is a, a nice, rich, sort of plummy burgundy colour. And I thought I would make a twirl before I actually cut into that gorgeous black fabric. So I've sort of been taking things like this to work, getting things cut out. And then when I've got half an hour or whatever, I just pop out here, do a little bit of sewing and take it to work and then if I've got a little bit of spare time at work I've been doing like the cover stitch hems because I've got a cover stitch machine down at work so I've been <clears throat> doing that. So I have got one or two bits done but all the other things that I've made I'm going to keep them for a dressmaking video <laughs> when I've got time <laughs> which I'm hoping it'll be soon. So I've taken um, the pattern and I've taken it down a couple of sizes and this one is still actually a bit too big for me because it's quite a baggy loose fit which is lovely and I think for the summer like, it's fantastic but it is a little bit too big for me. So I decided I'm going to take the pattern down um, probably another two sizes. So. Today I took the black fabric to work and I've actually got that cut out now. So that is just sat over here at the side, at that side, no, this side, <laughs> this outer camera shot, waiting to be stitched up. So hopefully I will get that done next week and that will be my um, fabric made up from that Beyond the Pink Door, which I'm really looking forward to that because this is actually the perfect time of year to wear something like this. And this time I actually put the long sleeves on, but they're not full length. They're like, they're a bit longer than three quarter length, but I think they'll be okay. 
and if I don't like the length I can always maybe shorten them or I don't know something with them but I think it'll be fine and also I've got I actually I will show you this I've made like a the oversized tee and I've made it like a like a pullover so this will go perfectly with that if it's a little bit chilly instead of having a cardigan so that's what I've been up to on the sewing front <laughs> um right I have done no knitting I haven't touched the knitting for probably three weeks now I don't know just just not felt like like knitting not at all so it's still sat up upstairs <laughs> um right yeah well i've done a little bit of cross stitch but i haven't done any for a week uh just just didn't feel like doing it it's been uh, i don't know it's been a funny couple of weeks really hmm. i know last time i showed you this i wanted to try and get the four eggs done well i have got three eggs and they look very nice i love the colors of this and uh that's what it's going to look like when it's finished so i'm hoping depending what i've got to do tonight i might try and do a little bit or i'll work on something else because some evenings i've just been that tired i don't want to work on anything and i just sort of flake out on the settee and watch a bit of youtube and that's my evening because i have been doing a lot of cooking i've been in the kitchen quite a lot and obviously we've been visiting the mother-in-law uh, I've been doing a lot of freezer meals up stuff that we've bought uh, I've turned into freezer meals and anything that she'd got in the fridge and um, bits out of the freezer because we're trying to run the freezer down for her and make her meals so all, she, all at the minute um, we get things out at night for her and then she's got something there for her dinner and she has soup and sandwiches for tea or whatever whichever she fancies so the people who are going in sort of check on her, look after her and things like that. At least she's having a hot dinner at one, one meal. So I think that's probably going to continue uh, making up the meals for her because I don't think she's she'll be able to stand up in the kitchen peeling potatoes and carrots and things like that. So I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time either in my kitchen or her kitchen. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. All that matters is she's getting fed. Right, we're getting a bit off, off subject there, aren't we? So I did finish off my second crochet mitt. So they're all finished. So I'll just pop it on. So I, these are lovely. They feel really nice. I think I did make them a little bit big though. But never mind, they will get worn. I absolutely love this wool and the cream yarn that I've used is a, an emu yarn it's a double knit which I have in the shop so that has been absolutely perfect so as soon as I finished those I decided I wanted to do some more <laughs> I think what sort of made me want to make some more mitts is because I bought uh, a pattern for a coat and I bought some purple fabric and I decided I didn't want to buy the fabric for the scarf because it would have been quite expensive for a scarf and with it being wool I don't think I'd like wool around my neck but yarn is a different matter so what I've made is another pair of these mitts these are slightly smaller so these actually fit better and I've taken the, the granny square parts to my mother-in-law when we've been for a visit on an evening and I've just sat and just done the odd, odd square while I've not been doing anything else, just sitting, chatting to her and watching TV. So I managed to get these done and I put the little button on, which has got handmade with love on. So. And then I decided, see, I've got plenty of this gorgeous yarn left. Uh, this, this is the gift I had from Dawn out of my Christmas swap. Uh, <clears throat> what year was it? <coughs> Excuse me. 2022, I think. 
so I've doubled it up so it's more double knit and that's the emu yarn so this is what I've got in my shop and I'm doing more granny squares and I've already I've got six made here and I'm starting to stitch them together and I'm going to make the cowl so I just need 12 granny squares so when I go out and about I will take this with me and I think I will soon have 12 granny squares ready to make a cowl and that will be ready before the coat's ready <laughs> I don't think I'll be making the coat yet right just have a quick drink of my coffee oh, that's better right well that, that's all sort of the crafting I've been doing over the last couple of weeks I know it's not a lot but at least I've managed to get a little bit done and the next thing I've got to share with you is just a couple of purchases that I've got I bought myself a sewing journal and project book I mean look at that lovely old-fashioned machine that's absolutely beautiful now I got this off Amazon and I think it was $5.99 and this is what it looks like you've got a page there so you can put it does say sketch but you can put well I'm going to put a photograph there <coughs> excuse me so you put your project name and it's like project type so it's clothing home decor or other and you can put your sewing pattern down you can put down when you started your item when you finished um, like machine set up, what thread you use, what needle you use, your measurements and materials and everything you use and the price <clears throat> and like I said I can put a, a photograph there that's what I'm thinking of of maybe the finished outfit or something like that and it will also do for any sort of sewing projects I've got on the go maybe cross stitch or something like that and I thought it might be an ideal book to document what sewing projects I get done in 2024. So as you can see, I haven't got anything <laughs> yet. I've not had time, but that is something I want to sort of get on with because obviously the bits and pieces that I have made clothes wise, I need to get some photographs and uh, get some pictures printed up and then I can stick it in my little book. So it'll be interesting to see how many things I can make before the end of 2024. And the next thing I've bought, it's a pattern. And this is called the Amara Vest. Now this is what I've been looking for for ages. I think this is done in boiled wool. I don't think I'll be using boiled wool. But uh, some of the nice, slightly thicker um fabric knits that's what i'll probably be looking for so i'm really looking forward to that it looks quite simple to do i've not really read the instructions yet or anything but i'm looking forward to making that and i can always make it a bit longer because i think that's probably a bit too short for me i want it maybe to come down to about here sort of maybe high hip or something like that but i'm looking forward to making that And the next thing I've bought <coughs> is another pattern and it's a, a piece of fabric. I'm just going to have a little drink of coffee. I'm getting a dry throat. Mm. Right. Well, this is a dress pattern and it's the Savannah dress. Now, this is not something I would have bought. But I have been online and I've looked to see, you know, what other people are doing with this pattern. And there's been quite a few different sort of reviews on it. And, you know, to me, that's for something that somebody that's slim <laughs> doesn't have um, the wideness sort of around the tummy and the hips. But it's not. You can sort of alter the pattern. And I've seen a few... Um, how can I put it, larger sizes 
uh, in it and they look really really nice in it so I thought you know I'm going to try this because that even if I only wear it around the house that'll be something nice and cozy and loose and comfortable so I'm looking forward to making that so I'm hoping I can get around to all these things before winter ends and the fabric I bought now when I bought this fabric I don't think I was concentrating on what I was purchasing because it is a it's a jersey now somebody's made this dress in this fabric but it looks it's really nice and it's got the cable knit effect or the colours sorry now I've got to figure out and <clears throat> I thought oh I like that but I think what I I would prefer now I've got it is something a little bit heavier more this kind of stuff so I think if I'm out and about which I will be uh, I'm going to have a look for something like this I think to make this this dress in but I still like this fabric and I think what I'm going to do is make a uh, I don't know um, some kind of turtleneck top um, like the oversized tee and things like that a uh, long sleeve one so I think I can get two tops out of this which will be I'll be quite happy with so I just have to watch this space and see what, uh, what I'll come up with so that's really all I've purchased um, like I said I'm going to be out and about from tomorrow I've closed the shop for a little bit for a few days uh, we are going off tomorrow down south we are going to Bedworth we've got a family funeral to go to which will be on Friday so we're stopping two nights down there and then Saturday we're going to go and visit Leamington which is about a quarter of an hour away from Bedworth I think and we're stopping there overnight that's my hometown so we're going back there for a little bit haven't been down to Leamington for absolutely years and I know there are a few fabric shops down there so I think I'll be going round Saturday afternoon I'll be going around the fabric shops in Leamington which I'm really really looking forward to because the last time I was down there I think there was a little craft shop and that was about it there were no no fabric shops or anything so yes, it'd be nice to go back and visit my hometown and see how things have changed. So I will take you along with me for these little outings. Um, yeah, so it'll be, it'll be a nice little break as well. I mean, it's a sad occasion that we're going down there for, but there'll be something nice at the end of it, which will be good. And it'll be nice to see sort of Kevin's side of the family again which we've not seen for quite a while so yeah right well excuse me <laughs> I think I'm going to leave the vlog here because I haven't actually got anything else that I've done um, or anything like that that I can share with you so um, I'd just like to say thank you so much for joining me today and um, I hope everybody has a lovely crafty week and I hope the weather's not been too bad for you. It's been quite windy here but we've not had it anywhere near as bad as other parts of the country. So I hope everybody's safe and not had any damage. And I think the only thing that's happened is next door's part of next door's fence came down. <laughs> that was about it. So we'd be lucky really, I think. So take care everyone, have a safe week, happy crafting and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.